What's going on, America? This is Kevin in Kevin's Corner. I'm out here again with my varmints. You see them in the background. Dun 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 and they are so obvious that they're not serious about national security. They're more serious about pushing a narrative, uh, a false narrative, trying to make it appear that Donald Trump somehow stole the election by the help of Mother Russia. They're not interested in ensuring that our, our elections are safe, because if that was the case, they would be talking about voter fraud. They would be talking about making sure people register and state whether they're an American citizen or not, making sure the integrity of the election in every city and state is secure. But no, they want to hide those type of things and wants to blame it on Russia, which cracks me up because now they're talking about more sanctions. Rand Paul laid out one of the most beautiful dissertations of why it is foolish to discontinue talks with Russia, push this false narrative, and also push more sanctions. If the goal is to build a relationship with Russia, you don't say, you know what, we're not going to talk to you for eight years because we're going to put some sanctions on you that's going to last eight years with no option for it to even come off. And they're not even clear on what the, the sanctions is for and what they are deeming as interference in our election. Because if they're saying the interference in our election is simply buying some ads, then they might as well go ahead and put sanctions on everybody, including some of our so-called allies. If they're saying that sanctions should be put on them for hacking into um, our voting database and changing votes, then they can't say that Russia did that. No votes were changed. Now, if they're saying sanctions should be because they hacked into a unsecure server, uh, then, you know, maybe. But yet they won't hand over the server for us to just verify that it was actually Russia who hacked into it. So I got a feeling that they trying to put Russia on some trumped up charges as well. But nonetheless, to do that is foolish dip, uh, diplomatically. And the Democrats were so obvious that every time they got a chance to question Pompeo, they tried to drive it straight back to the whole Trump has businesses in Russia. Trump is... Uh-oh, the dogs are off chasing something, guys. I hope they... Okay, it was a false alarm, you know, because neither one of them could fight. Uh, I might, you know, they run around the back of the yard. I go around there, and they'd be getting jacked up by about three squirrels, uh, and I have to break it up and rescue them. Um, yeah, right now they think they're tough, but they're not. They're not. They're snowflake dogs, you know, because I'm, I, I raise them just like the Democrats like to enable a lot of other people. Yeah. These dogs, they don't know how to hunt for themselves. They rely solely on me to take care of them, and they're content with it. That's right. Yeah, if I left them outside overnight, they'd starve. That's what they do. They sit on the porch waiting for the treats. Mm -hmm. They're snowflakes. They feel like they're entitled. Anyway, getting back to my point, I got distracted. Now, um, the point that I'm trying to make is that they're pushing this narrative that Russia interfered with the election, and they're trying to tie it to Trump, of course, we know. But one of the senators or whatever, he might have been a congressman, tried to go straight into the whole, Donald Trump has businesses in Russia. Did he tell you about this in the past? He tried to set up a hotel sale. Some guy from Russia bought some property from him and all of this stuff. Like that has anything to do with this quote unquote Russia interference in our election. Uh, because if the concern was really about Russia's interference with the election, how is it? That the conversation always somehow just takes a turn right back to Donald Trump. I mean, I thought it was about the Russians. And it's been shown that no American citizen played a part in interfering or colluding with the Russians. So now what does Donald Trump have to do with all of this? So why are we even talking about him? That's my question to all the Democrats. But we know that it's not about Russia. It's about Trump. It's about justifying this butt beating that they took last year. And they can't deal with it. And also about preparing for the butt beating that they're going to take in the future with their socialist party. But anyway, Pompeo responded to this guy 
and it was so funny. If you get a chance and you got some times for farts and giggles, just go back and watch it. So my man Pompeo uh, is listening to this dude trying to tie Trump to all of this stuff. And did Donald Trump tell you about this? And did Donald Trump, did you hear what he said in the White House? And Pompeo just responded by saying, look, man, um, I'm not here to get into politics um, and, and, and all the stuff that you tried to drag me into last time. But what I am here to do is tell you all of the busload of stuff that we have done since we've been in office that would totally blow up the narrative that Donald Trump is in love with Putin and he starts rattling off all of the things that he did and Trump did to really go against everything that the agenda of Russia has. And as he's rattling off this stuff, this guy interrupts it. Ah, you know what? We, we, we don't want it. We don't want to hear about that. We don't want it. See, now, if you were really interested in finding out what are we doing to stabilize our elections, what are we doing to secure our country, what are we doing to combat Russia interference and them trying to push their agenda and so on and so forth. And if you were really interested on how tough Donald Trump is on Russia, you would have let Mike Pompeo finish ripping off all of the stuff. And you know what he told him as he kept getting interrupted? He said, hey, if you want to know more, I can back up a whole semi of stuff that we've done to show you that we're tough on Russia. And then he closed it out with, and these are all things that I begged Obama to do, but he didn't do it. He didn't do it at all. And so now all of a sudden, all of these narratives that Donald Trump has, he sold America out and he's in cahoots with, with Putin. And this is treason. I don't see how it's treason when you have a busload of evidence that shows that all of your policies and decisions are in direct conflict with the Kremlin. So this narrative is totally debunked by the actions of the Trump administration. And it furthermore shows that none of the Democrats are really interested in justice. They're not interested in justice in any area. They don't care about justice when it comes down to the poor families that's been, the kids that's been ripped, ripped from their parents. They're not interested injustice when it comes down to uh the fbi violating americans rights and and listening in on them you know they're not they're not interested in getting justice for the DACA recipients that are all little angels that moved here uh uh against their own will because donald trump tried to offer them a you know a solution doubled the amount of people that they were going to go ahead and let stay but but they they didn't want that they're not interested in any laws order or anything they are only interested in power they're only interested in making trump look bad i don't care what it is um they said it on i forget what show it might have been on the five and they were saying that it's obvious that the democrats and the liberal media simply will support anything opposite of donald trump so if donald trump comes out and says that you know kid trafficking is wrong he said that the liberal media would fight for kid trafficking. You know what? It's not right that, that these traffickers have their own businesses. That's how they feed their family, by kidnapping kids. That's how they feed their family. And by denying them that, you're first of all, you're demagoguing all of the, 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 the human traffickers. You're just demagoguing them. All of them are bad. All of them are bad. And just to come out and say something like, like human traffickers are bad. This is ridiculous. That's blatant racism. It has nothing to do with the fact that they kidnap kids and sell them on the black market. It's because they're mostly all Mexican, and that's why he said it. Yeah, his motives are all racist. They would support anything that Trump says is good or bad. They're taking the opposite position. You know what? Eating doo-doo sandwiches are bad. Media, Democrat. How can he discriminate against doo-doo? I mean, everybody growing up loved doo-doo. I mean, I got some doo-doo right now back in, in, in the lunchroom that I'm going to eat. And you know what? I'm offended that he would, would infringe upon my right to eat a doo-doo sandwich and make me feel like I'm some type of animal because I eat poop. That's crazy. This guy's obviously anti-doo-doo. Anyway, that's my take on it. If you get a chance, check it out. Mike Pompeo blasted these dudes today and shut them up. 
And it's funny how they all come out with these stupid narratives and it just makes them look more stupid if that is possible. God bless you. Check me out tonight, 7.30. Um, and find me on Facebook, Twitter. Catch me out at, uh, you know what, what? Catch me out, uh, you know what? No, 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 I was gonna say, something just hit my mind. I was in the store shopping for a new weapon the other day and somebody caught me out and about. I was like, wait a minute, you're Kevin from Kevin's Corner. I was like, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Depends on what you want with me. But anyway, um, but check me out on Wednesday nights, like I said, 7.30. The links are in the bottom. If you want to support Kevin and Kevin's Corner, please feel free. And speaking of poop, I think my dogs are finished. So I'm about to go in and get ready for the show. God bless you. See you next time at Kevin's Corner.